God bless the Atlanta Falcons because not a lot else went right on Monday. Tough day on the show yesterday for Mark and I, but we both did have the Falcons on Monday Night Football. That was good. Mark, it was so nice to be back with you on the show yesterday. The outpouring of support that you received in the comments section reaffirmed my faith, uh, quite frankly, in mankind and the human spirit. Yeah, well, that's that's good to know. I mean, you uttered a phrase no one ever says is thank God for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, and because uh, <laughs> anybody who uh, and to the guys in the comment section, thank you so much. And to the guy in the comment section who said, hey, I'm going to buy Zuno's this package because I think he's due. Uh, I may have been due, but Reed Detmers was not. Um, again, uh, he sucks. Uh, the, the fact that the White Sox scored seven runs off Reed Detmers in three innings to me was the cherry on top of what has been a, a not 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 a good run. So, uh, again, I'll give you the advice what to do with the $29. Uh, take it. Go to Springfield, Ohio, and order the Blue Plate oh, Special. Oh, don't start with yeah. that. Don't start with that again. Don't do start with, with that. $29 because, don't uh, start and, with and, that. And, and listen, if, you, if someone does that, I, I invite Reed Detmers with you, and I'll pay for the whole meal. $29. One gets a dog. One gets a cat. Everybody don't, eats well. Don't we'll join start the that. Okay? Don't because start I, that. Yeah, thank God for the Atlanta Falcons. Unreal. Can we get so, to the so, Can we get to the double play? Can we get to the double play, please? Okay, I forgot sure. who you're even taking. I forgot okay, who you're even taking today. No, I'll it's a first I'll take, I'll take No, I, I'll do it because I'm so mad. I'm a glutton for punishment or a moron, one or the other. Uh, I'm actually coming back with the Angels again today. Same exact play, first five run line. I don't care that Griffin Canning is starting, and he is an absolute dumpster fire. He is terrible. Griffin Canning shouldn't be a major league pitcher. His 5-3-5 ERA and his 1-4-1 whip should have had him demoted to the minors. Adam. Springfield, Illinois. However, Stop. Kyle, I will say this about Griffin Canning. Uh, his sterling 0-10 record on the road, okay, uh, is nowhere near as good as his 5-3 and record at home. So at least we have that going for us, that there's an outside chance that he could pitch well. But I'm absolutely fading the White Sox, scoring seven runs again. And scoring any runs early because, well, they're the White Sox and they're god awful and they shouldn't be able to do this two games in a row. So I am doing the thing that I always advise you guys not to do make an emotional bet. Pissed off at the Angels, more pissed off at the White Sox. So we're coming back firing on it again. Angels first five. I'm giving it out here free and I'm absolutely making it a client play because guess what? I'm pissed. Uh, you are very passionate here on a Tuesday. Uh, by the way, smash that like button if you too are pissed. Smash that like button if you're in a good mood. Smash that like button if you're rolling with Mark and the LA Angels of Orange County here on Tuesday in the first five. When I checked the scoreboard around 950, I smashed things with a bat because that's how mad I was. I mean, you can only laugh. Didn't we just rebuild your house? What are we doing here? Did, 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 did the insurance did, did art, art, wasn't uh, wasn't Casa de Zino all rebuilt and now it now now gods, it's destroyed? The betting gods have said I will destroy this temple and build it again in three days. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, comment down below with your favorite bets on a Tuesday. We're going first five heavy today on the morning wager because not only is our show best bet, which is coming up in just a little bit, a first five bet. That's why we're going first five. Well, I'll I'll get to tell you why I am not betting a full game, okay, for my half of the double play. It's because it's involving the Colorado Rockies and their bullpen stinks. So we don't want to involve them. Now, the Rockies did come from behind uncharacteristically to defeat the D-backs last night, 3-2. to But I would like to just take the Rockies in the first five this evening. Why? Because they have Ryan Feltner on the mound. I've talked about Ryan Feltner on the show before. This is a guy, got off to a bad start to the season, but he's turned it around. You look at his numbers since returning from injury, okay? He's made four starts. The Rockies' record mark in those four starts is 4-0. and He's allowed two earned runs or less in three of them. You go back a little bit further, okay? Four, six, eight starts, okay? Seven of those last eight starts, he's allowed three runs or less. This guy has pitched much better than his record, so I trust him getting half a run against Arizona. Yes, I talked about Arizona and their offensive exploits yesterday on the show, but Jordan Montgomery... (laughs) <laughs> on the mound for the D-backs today. He's the worst. He, he's the weaker starting pitcher in this matchup. Give me the half run with Feltner against Arizona, Colorado. First five plus half a run is my half of the double play to go along with Mark, who's laying hey, the half run in the first five with the Angels. 
can I uh, can I just I'd like to peel back the curtain for the audience here. I tried to convince Brian Power to take the over in this game because Jordan Montgomery stinks and Ryan Feltner isn't good and there should be a lot of runs scored, especially. And it seems like one of the plays Ryan you want to is good after after they only scored five runs in Coors Field last night. So I am endorsing D backs Rockies over 11 and a half. I'm just, you know, by the way, that out. okay. I am not endorsing the Dallas Cowboys for the record. It's just a coffee mug, guys. I just want to say that. Okay. Uh, All what's right. In that mug? Wait, wait. What's in that mug? Coffee. Okay. All right. Didn't realize Jerry Jones Jones visited the house. Didn't realize Jerry Jones decided to uh, give you some some of his spooge in a cup. (laughs) And you're still drinking it. All right. Anyway, you know what I do endorse? Yes, exactly. That is how the producers feel on this program. Uh, you know what I do endorse, Mark? Uh, it's $5 Tuesday at wagertalk.com. What a deal. You can get best bets from Mark, myself, any of your other favorite Wager Talk handicappers for just $5. My $5 play will be up in Major League Baseball. We try to turn around in baseball. Football is outstanding. The Falcons it completed is. a four and and a yeah yeah. Football. My football has been great. Can I you, speak about this, please? Thank you. Yeah, that's the part you missed. Football has been great oh. for me. For me, okay. not so much for the other guy that you do the show with. Well, so I like again. you. I was just trying to bring you into my universe. You know, my gravitational pull. Anyway, the Falcons complete a four and and NFL Week Two sweep for yours truly. I'm now fifteen yeah. and seven, sixty eight percent with all NFL and college this season. That's pretty pretty good. But our five dollar play is in Major League Baseball tonight. Also, be on the lookout. Champions League, the new format gets underway Tuesday. Zeno, get excited, get fired up. Twelve forty-five. I'm calling you. We're gonna watch the game together. I gotta tell you, I'd rather you, I'd rather watch you drink Jerry Jerry Jones spooge Stop out of that it. Cowboys cup than hear you talk about the Champions League. Okay, you and your soccer. It's very exciting. Right? It's very exactly. exciting. Talk to a right in that cup. Talk, uh, the talk, the talk way, to a podcast is underway. By the way, by, that's not really it. It was Talk TV. I so guess she so. I don't know. Tool? Yes. Of course she does. They gave gave us, look, you and I have a daily show. Who else wouldn't get a daily show in this world? Okay. They let us talk every day on the internet. It's a fair argument for that. Thank you for the Morning Wager fans who tune in every single day, all 2,000 plus of you. We uh, we appreciate you making us the number one show at Wager Talk. That said, um, I can't listen to her talk. It's just way too twangy and Southern. Like, I I just don't like her voice. Like, I couldn't be in a relationship with her because my ears would bleed. Like, as long as she couldn't talk, I'd be fine. If she did the other things she apparently seems to be good at, okay, I'd be fine. Okay, well, we're, 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 the things you're saying today are inappropriate. My God. Hey, hey I, I, I don't know what you were Your talking Your mother's about. watching. Apparently, I, from what I understand, she's a very good cook. That's what I was referring to. I don't know where oh. your mind was going. But anyway. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, it's not, you know, whatever. By the way, my $5 <laughs> play for today I told B, I told BP yesterday. I called him. I said, BP, I got something to tell you. And BP says, "What's that, Zeno?" I said, "I had locked in on a college football card." And Brian Power, just like Brian Power is, says, "Oh, I haven't looked yet." So uh, I sat there and made him listen to all of my college football card yesterday. Right? I got on the phone. <laughs> yes, and I did. That. Yes, I remember ready. this. It was. And then no, Brian I Power wasn't. responds to me what he always responds to me, like he said earlier on the show. You seem very passionate about all this. Yes, I am. I felt pretty good. So to the guy in the comment section who thinks that I'm due, you're right. I am due. But last week, my $5 play was Washington State. We gave it out on Tuesday. It was the one college football game I got right. Uh, but nonetheless, I will once again uh, come back with a, with a college football play here on Saturday for my $5 play. And we are locked in on this one, guys. Love it. So $5 plays all around at wagertalk.com. Let's get to a bet that will not cost you $5. It will not cost you any money at all because it is our show best bet. We are giving it away, of course, for free here. That is what we do every... We aren't worth crap. (laughs) Every... Stop it. Let's be positive. Every Monday through Friday, Mark and I drop the morning wager. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, of course. And Mark, it is one hell of a pitching matchup we've got in the Pacific Northwest tonight. Luis Heal against Brian... Woo! Uh, what are we doing yeah. in the first five? In this, what are we doing in the first five for this one? Seems pretty uh, logical, quite frankly. Yeah, which is the exact opposite of this damn show. So there is that. Um, first five under 
three and a half. Look, Brian Wu at home is wonderful. Wonderful. 1.66 ERA. Opposing batters are batting a buck 60 against him. Uh, he is 5-0 and oh at home. Um, and he's only given up three home runs all year long. So he has been fantastic at AT&T. What, what's the name? Petco? Tay Safeco? What, what, where do they play? T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Whatever freaking T-Mobile. cell phone they play. Um, they have terrible service. Anyway, um, nonetheless, we like him at home. Luis Heal has been good everywhere this year. Um, you know, I mean, and consistent too. This is a guy who's only allowing opposing hitters to bat a buck 88 on the road this year. Uh, he has been really, really good. Uh, he faced Seattle once already this year, six and a third innings, one hit, just one hit, eight strikeouts. So, we expect more of the same here. Yankees came at lefties, by the way. I think I've told you guys that before. Uh, and uh, I, I think the three under three and a half holds up. Woo! It is under three and a half. First five Yankees Mariners. That rounds out today's morning wager. Don't forget about those five dollar yes. plays again at wagertalk.com. WTF yes. slash MZ. WTF slash PP. $29 on me. I am so happy if you'd spend five. So, please spend five. <laughs> I don't Are feel bad about it. That came yes. in hot. Industry term. Yeah. Uh, by the way, nope. <laughs> don't forget about this NBA season pass. Do you know the NBA starts next month, Zeno? I know you do because you like the NBA. Uh, I, I, I mean, listen, I can't think about anything else right now. I just need to get today right. Okay? Today. Okay. Like today. Okay. All right, today, today is the greatest. All right, anyway, I finished up 45.23 units in the NBA last season. So lock in for the season, $595. Mark Siddell is disgusted with me here on a Tuesday. Brian, we know you're good at this, okay? You don't have to keep telling people. Like, stop putting your unit out there. If you want to slap your unit on the table, let's do it. You want me to slap my unit on the table? You know, I, I told them. I don't wear pants, by the way, on the show. Anyway, on that note, that does it for the morning wager. For Mark Zinno, I am Brian Power. That's what it says, you know, right under our faces, so you knew that. Thank you, Dan Alexander, on the back end for waking up early. We'll catch you next time. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.